but have to do more testing, you know? Like a lot, like a lot of tests. You know? Really? Huh? It's 5, 10 p.m. Uh, what is it, April? April 3rd, 2018. We're live on Facebook. We've actually been live on Facebook for about five minutes. No, 10 minutes. You're setting some kind of record with that one. Because I'm looking at the wrong, the Facebook app actually has the time. Okay, and then 10 minutes, yeah. Yeah, so don't leave here to go over there. But if you're over there, come over here. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> Uh, but if you want, if you want to watch the ten minutes that you guys missed uh, after we're done here, head on over to Johnny Bean TV on Facebook. You'll see the exclusive angle. And, uh... Exclusive angle. <laughs> they'll see the money. They'll meet, They'll all see the money shot angle. Well, <laughs> it's basically it's 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 this angle. Yeah, it's not. Oh, the the double chin. Yeah, that's why I grow the beard to cover that up. Yeah, why do you think I have a goatee? Mm -hmm. Desiree wants me to shave the goatee. I'm like, not if you don't want to see like five chins. Mm -hmm. got a Chinese phone book in there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, huh? Eugene says, I hope everyone had a good Easter over on Facebook at Johnny Bean TV. Search at, as in the at sign, Johnny Bean TV on Facebook and okay. like the page. There's going to be a lot more content over there. Exclusive double chin angles. <laughs> oh, man. So who's in here? We got David Nesdahl. Double changles. <laughs> <laughs> Jay Hanna. We're on the air. Yeah. Yes. Wearing clothing today. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> I'm not oh, like no, this no. Under, the, under the covers. I I wish you were like that. We saw way more than. No, I didn't see enough. No. I was hoping from the drop his phone. Uh huh. And you guys know we saw Desiree a couple times. Do you know that? No. Yeah. yeah. Really? Yeah. What? Yeah, you were on Dave's right. We yeah. saw you twice. <laughs> Two times. <laughs> that would have been really bad. <laughs> Uh, it, you couldn't see it from my where I was sit, stand, sitting. Oh my <laughs> Man, if you guys missed it, when was that? Friday? Fr Friday. Did you delete it? What? Did you delete it? <laughs> Better not. I hope so. If it goes past, you know, if if a day passes, you can't delete it. The Johnny Bean rule. Yeah. <clears throat> Man. So what's new? Oh wow! Look, we got a huge uh, chat room going here. Dang. R two R three Locky Nut is in here. Shane Robinson is in the house. Brent Z rocks. Uh, Eugene says need above headshot on Dave Lowell on Facebook. Mm hmm. We actually used to have one of those. Remember? You actually had your, your computer up on like two telephone books or the dog food yes. or something. Yeah. Yep. And the angle was actually right above Dave. I remember that. The bed cam. <clears throat> it's just a pain in the butt to, to keep doing that every time. Mm -hmm. uh... And then if I do that, it's hard for me to read the, uh, the chat because the, the computer is far away. Mm -hmm. Actually, I gotta pause the video. And pop what? Out. I gotta pop out the chat on my other computer here. I've got What's oh. he popping out of? Gotta pop out the chat. Is, there we go. Pop we go. up the pop up pop pop up pop up. What? <laughs> Light it up. Yeah. <clears throat> so what's new? What's what's new with uh, since? Uh, when did well, I see you guys? Got, you've got Friday? a couple of things. Oh, I'll show the address. I already, I already uh, sharpened everything off, but oh. I got two boxes. <laughs> One came, and then I sent the picture of it to Johnny and Dave and said, hey, ooh, unboxing tonight. 
And then literally, as I sent the picture, UPS came with the other one. I was like, ooh, double dipping today, folks. Man. So. Mm -hmm. And I might be one of the first people. What's in, I know what's in, in the boxes, but what's inside one of them, I might be one of the first cats to have. So we'll, we'll find out. Oh, I know what it is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bet you do. And nice. <laughs> if you can guess, we'll give you two more sets of strings. No, I'm joking. <laughs> hey, Vinny. Vinny's on Facebook. Vinny, are you on Facebook and YouTube? He's on Ubook. Mm -hmm. Scott, yeah. Actually, before we do the unboxing, I'm going to shut the Facebook uh, stream off. So all five people of you have to jump over to YouTube. <laughs> Hey, babe. Randall Fisher says, tell Desiree my wife Cameron says hi. <laughs> Carmen. Carmen. Car Cameron, Carmen. Hi, Carmen. 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 It is Carmen. Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Sorry, Maybe Randall. Live action show or movie on that game or uh, whatever it was. Mm -hmm. The TV show. Yep. Yeah, I've, I've seen that. You guys want to see what I did today? No. All right. Bye. Pans the cam camera over to Desiree. <laughs> <laughs> he left. He's gone. He's out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Winger Tuesday. I said what I did, not who I did. To bin and then and then and yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Do we want to see that? What? We want to see what you did. You want to show oh. us something? Oh. <laughs> there you go. I'm trying to figure out what you did. You painted that guitar? I took the tape off of it, the multicolored tape. Oh. Oh, oh wow. Yeah. That's cool. So that guitar is not really purple then. Yeah, it's purple. But it was it was red underneath the purple. So yeah. some of the paint had come off. It's all right. I'm gonna repaint it anyway. Mm-hmm. That's cool. What what are you, what are you gonna paint it? Purple. It's gonna be a pur all purple guitar. Uh-huh. It already is. Yeah, but it's gonna look neater. It's gonna you know look professional when it's done. It's not gonna look like you know, garbage. Oh. <laughs> that actually That's kind of cool. That, yeah, yeah. That actually looks kind of neat. Except the paint, you know, the sticky from the paint is all over, from the tape is all over it. And it just, it's, it's just had a hard time getting all the, uh, the paint residue off, the, the tape residue off. Mm -hmm. In the words of John Candy from Planes, Trains, and Automobiles, you ought to be able to buff that out, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> the paint will come right off. It doesn't have any. <laughs> doesn't have clear coat on it. <laughs> did Did you ever see that John Candy movie where he um he hits his head and he ends up in his own TV show? Oh, what is it? Delirious. What's the title of that? Delirious. Was it really Delirious? That was the mm -hmm. name of it. Mm -hmm. I ran across it on uh on uh what's it called Netflix. That's on Netflix? A couple weeks ago. Netflix streaming. Yeah. Yes. Watched uh, probably like half an hour of it. Yeah. Yeah, it was funny. It was funny. He's driving the car with that chick in the, in the passenger seat, and he has the blindfold on, right? And she's like, faster, telling him to turn left, turn right, right? That was right. That was right. Uh, I, yeah, I, I was folding laundry and stuff while I was watching it. That part I kind of missed, but I, I uh, sounds... Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know one of my favorite John Candy movies has got to be Who's Harry Crumb? Great movie, great movie, man. <laughs> <laughs> Bamboo is my business. <laughs> <laughs> my name is Dijon Deluge. Can you spell that? I don't think so. Try with a D. <laughs> <laughs> I hope. I wonder if that's on Netflix. Off the chat. I don't know. 
I don't know. Scott Nickerson over on uh, Facebook says, I must say, this does feel somewhat exclusive access to Mr. Bean. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> it's cool. It's cool. Uh, what else? Somebody else said something on here. They said, uh, Eugene said, uh, what do you guys think about the jump song they play in the new movie? Oh, Ready Player One? Mm-hmm. What do we think about that? It's it's great. Um, I liked what I heard in the trailer. I didn't see the movie. Um, but I heard it's it's in the movie. But I, I like I like what I heard in the trailer. I don't even know what you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> There's a movie, Ready Player One. It's got a I I heard it's got a lot of nostalgia as far as eighties goes. Yeah, so I, lot, that's why I want to see it. It has a lot of Back to the Future uh, references. Like some of the some of the promo posters are, they look like Back to the Future. Mm -hmm. You know, when Marty was getting out of the DeLorean, looking at his watch. Mm -hmm. You know, I think there is a character in that movie in that same uh, pose. Yeah. I guess. <laughs> so Absolute Mayhem says, "Dave, you should uh, shoot it up with clear coat and leave it." Well. You know, I want it to look nicer than this. I want it. Uh, yeah, I just, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Haven't decided, but we'll see. Cool. Uh, let's see. Gear nerd. Multi casting Johnny. Taking over the interwebs, Lowell. Yeah. <laughs> what else? Uh, ben, Ben Coombs is saying later to Scylla. Is it Scylla? Brian Davies, uh, why does Johnny keep his hands under the desk? Is my desk, is my, <laughs> my keyboard is about right here. You can't see. Sure. My, keyboard, my keyboard is like right here. Yeah. So what? Uh, somebody itching to unbox something? Um. Yeah, we didn't miss anything, right? Silla's going to sleep. He's know. out of here. Um. Yeah, I mean, I, I I could open one and then you know maybe open the other one in a couple minutes, like literally right after. <laughs> okay. Facebook. I'm gonna let you go. Jump on over to to YouTube. Actually, the link, if you're, if you're watching this video on Facebook right now, scroll down one post and you'll see this video sitting there. So Facebook, thanks for uh, jumping in. Scott Nickerson, thanks for jumping over there. Eugene, who else? Vinny. Who else? Uh, wow, you guys are really, really talking. <laughs> There's a lot of comments here that Jay was in there. Kelly was in there. Mm -hmm. Hey Dave, Raymond Raymond Urbina wants to uh he said he just got in here. Can you please show that guitar again? Sure. Here it is. Basically, it's just a uh it's a Kramer Pacer Imperial that had the, the multicolored tape on it from 1982. And I took the tape off of it. And now I just I'm gonna paint it. I'm gonna Painted purple, just regular purple guitar. This way I have a non-striped Kramer that feels great with two humbuckers in it, and I can use it whenever I want without anyone saying, play Van Halen. <laughs> play Eruption, bro. Can you play Van Halen? <laughs> Johnny, are you, are you re-watching your Facebook stream? I had to. I guess you have to post it. Wait, you guys aren't supposed to be hearing this. There we go. Whoops! I just said something about calling Nesdol something. If you guys want to see that, head on over to at Johnny Bean on Facebook. You get ten bonus minutes of this, like it or not. Ten, ten more minutes of your life you'll never get back. 
<laughs> exclusive <laughs> exclusive minutes that <laughs> oh man cheers you guys uh -huh. so should i open one yeah do, do you know what they both are yeah so i have one box from fender and one box from mesa boogie which one do you want me to open first hmm uh everybody in the chat leave a thumbs up if you want me to open the mess of boogie one and leave a thumbs up if you want me to open the <laughs> how about press press a number press the number one in the in the chat <laughs> for uh, what one for i don't know <laughs> press f if you want fender press m if you want mesa boogie press post And we'll come back to this and we'll tally up the votes next episode <laughs> on, on Friday. <clears throat> so we got an M. I'm going to open we up got, the mess of boogie one. We got a one. I forget what one even means. Yeah. We... <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. MF? MF, yeah. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. I think that meant are you male or female? <laughs> uh. <laughs> I think it really meant both. <laughs> All right, so here is what the heck is this thing? I think this is just the uh, packaging or the uh, cushion. Is it? It's a burger. Yeah. More cushion for the cushion. Okay. Maybe not. Hold on a sec. Okay, that's why. Good thing I didn't throw this out. Those got are tubes. Some, uh, yeah, got some preamp tubes for uh, my Simul Class 290. I guess there was three of them in there, so they sent me three. Nice. Yeah. I didn't even ask for those. Wow. And then I did ask for these. I got the casters for my recto cab so i can finally get it off the floor mm -hmm. very cool man yep so yeah there's that box nothing too exciting but the other one i think is going to be pretty neat hey nice box where i don't know i just thought i'd say it I know if I had something laying around here. All right. Very yes, cool. Casters. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are you going to put those on tonight? Um, probably. <laughs> yep. <clears throat> uh,. Wheels for the alien, Michael says. <laughs> Roll them around. Yeah. So Shane Robinson says, uh, same ones are on sale at, um, at Home Depot. I thought the same thing. And the difference is, I went to Lowe's and Home Depot by me. And the difference is these square, the plates are square. And every other one that has around the same size, they're rectangle. So it's the only real way I could uh, get them, you know, unless maybe I ordered them online, but it, it worked out. It worked out. So got the real deals. They're fine. Now my hands smell like rubber. They say boogie on them? No. Boogie. <laughs> as, as they would say in the UK, boogie. Yeah, I have a... a, a tube of uh, lube right here just you know mm -hmm. does uh, it make you want to use that stuff on your hands right now no no i've got some of this stuff right here i think dave has the same stuff no this is for my glasses yeah, yeah. it's for my glasses oh it's called uh
Hell, I can't read it. Purity something. KY something? No. <laughs> <laughs> it says great neck, great neck opticians. Purity. Mm -hmm. Man, this is good stuff. The uh, the Nick Thompson tea. That's great. Nick. Oh, thanks again, man. Brian Davies has a question. He says, question for Dave Nesdal. Where can you get the electric blue pickups Jack White uses and the tuners and volume control on it from, I guess, the, the ones that are on his Wolfgang? I have no idea. Uh, my guess is that they're painted for him. My guess is that that's probably done at, at EVH. Everything was probably painted. Yeah, yeah, those guitars, they were totally custom made for him. Do you think we'll start seeing more <clears throat> people of that caliber playing custom EVH guitars? Well, guitar players that suck? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean play wise. I meant. Oh, come on. You know, just really, that was a curveball. That was a slow sinking curveball that I just knocked right out of the park. It was a hanger, a hanging curveball. <clears throat> yeah. See, see what I have to deal with, you guys. <laughs> I love Jack White. Uh, I've been a huge fan of his for fifteen years. Ooh, Scott Nickerson. He emailed the EVH store the other day about the guitar mat and neck cradle. They responded that they just arrived back in stock and would post on web page later that day. I emailed back thankful and mentioned the show. Thanks, man. Look at that. Cool. Thank you. Seems like almost everyone in the chat agrees with me about the, the Jack White thing. I'm going to oh. keep my mouth shut. <laughs> Why you don't have you don't uh, you don't have? Oh, I, ha I have opinions about a lot of things, but I like to, uh, you know, I was told by Johnny a while ago that you know we like to keep the show, you know, positive and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, positive with Eddie Van Halen. <clears throat> what? I like to be positive on everything, you guys. Oh, okay. So you're basically just one sided. Huh? You like to look at the positive aspects about something, even if it's a negative thing. Is that what you're saying? Uh, I don't know. Just got a, a, a text message here. From Jack White? Uh, <laughs> actually, okay, I got a couple messages. Heard what Dave said, bro. <clears throat> um... Matthew Stewart. Is Matthew in here? He said uh, he, uh, he wants to get uh, a guitar pick from Dave and I. What about me? Do you have any with your name on them? <laughs> no, no, just the band name. But I only have a couple left, so ain't nobody getting those. <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I thought you sounded, thought like, you me sounded you like me when you laughed. It's coming through Dave. It's coming through Dave. So who doesn't? <laughs> who doesn't? Well, Dave. You, well, Dave, Dave, you hear you, Dave, you hear Hello. Hello. Do I hear what? Okay. Okay. Hang up and call back. Hang up and call back. Me? Yeah. Mm yeah. 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 There's a major yeah, echo. There's a major echo. Really? See if it's hello. 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 Uh, testing. <laughs> Still a little. No, that's good. Testing. I hear it too. I, I'm going to switch back to my earphones. I still hear it. I still hear it, and well, I was maybe, muted. Well, maybe it's on my end. I'll be I'll back and be back and muted. Well, it's real. It's heavy. Oh, it's real. It's heavy. You uh. You uh. I'm muted, Dave. I'm muted, Dave. Still? 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 
Oh, yes. it's horrible. Oh, it's horrible. I'm back. I'm back. Oh, it's, it's terrible. Oh, it's terrible. Is it really? Yeah, it's yeah, bad. It's like, bad. It's my like, voice is my louder, voice than, your louder than your voice. voice. Speed. Speed. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jay and I, we sound like, well, there he goes. Mm-hmm. Man. See, that? that's, he actually did use headphones for a little while and then just stopped. Yeah. Well, I have my volume kind of low. <clears throat> so, but every once in a while it'll kick on. It's the same with him. All of a sudden it triggers it and then mm-hmm. it's like really, really bad. Mm-hmm. But I'm gonna I'm gonna switch to headphones though, real quick. What is a uh... Absolute Mayhem wants to uh replace his stock tuning pegs to locking tuners. I went to my local music shop and they wanted 120 bucks for a pack of six. Talking about Spurzels? Anybody else want to uh, chime in here? Should be able to get a, a set of uh, locking tuners for about a hundred bucks, right? I would say probably. Yeah, yeah hundred and twenty seems uh, a little excessive. Well, it depends. I mean, it depends on the brand. It depends. The, there are, you know, there are different. There's different quality too. Just because it's locking doesn't mean it's a good quality tuner or it could be a great quality tuner. Mm-hmm. Well, he says on Amazon, they seem to be around 20 to 40 bucks for a six pet. I don't know. I don't know if I'd trust them. Not for locking. No. Are they just like generic? Hundred and twenty dollars Canadian. What's that in real money? <laughs> real money, like uh, credits. <laughs> huh? What's Star Trek money? Um. Do they even use money in Star Trek? Because they're always on that same ship. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, probably not. Then <clears throat> there's no money. Uh, Jeannie says, Hey, did I miss the big unboxing? You missed one of them. But you'll have a big unboxing later, so. <laughs> Would that be more of an unzipping? <laughs> <laughs> Oh man. <laughs> um hey Jared. Jared Frost is in the house. Um, Jared, what's up, buddy? James Orcutt is in the house. Hey James. Jim Nicholas. Hey now. <laughs> <laughs> um so what? So huh? So I asked you guys what what Anything new this weekend? Last weekend? No. Nothing. Not here. You said you said you took that tape off that guitar today. I'm assuming that was today. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. It was starting to peel, so I said, you know, I think it's time for it to come off and stay mm-hmm. off. I don't need to have a replica of that guitar. I I much rather would have it without stripes on it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And you're going to repaint it? Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's cool. That's it, huh? <clears throat> That's yeah. Okay. Well, I straightened up a bit. Like a uh, straighten up all the guitars. I made everything nice and neat. <laughs> uh-huh. That's cool. That's cool. Um, what did I do? I can't even. Can't even think. I uh, was having some fun with the uh, 
what do you call it the the synthesizer what uh what you call it can't think of what it's called reason a synthesizer what you call it i was having fun with reason you know making some cool cool music <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> well, I I just had a, a a ramen, and then I'm having the the tea, so I'm getting kind of, you know. Plus, I've got this super bright light in my face. Mm -hmm. That'll do it. Yeah. Randall Fisher says, "What are your guys' opinions on running a BEOD through a Marshall DSL 40C?" Uh, I think it would sound good if you run it through the clean channel of the Marshall, but. Uh, if you're using it to um, uh, boost a gain channel, it might be a bit much. Mm -hmm. You mean like using it like a uh, a boost? Like yeah, like the, the, the like a tube screamer or something. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. even at its lowest setting, it's got a lot of gain. Mm -hmm. That's a great pedal on the clean channel. I use that on my on my Fender 212. I use the the BEOD, clean, you know. Mm -hmm. It sounds great. <laughs> um, where is Harmon takes wants to know uh, what is what? up with the tune crossing over on the Balance album? What? I I, I don't. <laughs> I think I, I think hear, Jay's crossing over. <laughs> yeah, I didn't hear a word you said except crossing over. Uh, Hardwood Stakes wants to know what's with the tune crossing over on the Balance album. I don't even have that on. on I've, I've, it's what is that on a B side of something, or maybe on a on a uh, an overseas uh, version of that record or something. It's on the Japanese pressing, and it's the B side for uh, "Can't Stop Loving You." I think. Mm -hmm. So what's the question? What do we think about what? that song? Or what's what's the deal with it? Yeah. What's the deal with it? Um, Dave, do you know? No. Well, Johnny, you do. So rip it. <laughs> <laughs> well, from from what I understand, the lyrics. Um, Sammy wrote the lyrics about a friend of his that had uh, passed away, and the music. Um, I believe Eddie is playing, uh, was that a horse? Did you hear that? I burped. Oh, gosh. He turned his microphone or his, his camera off to burp. <laughs> I didn't no, I didn't turn it off. I didn't turn my microphone off, my camera off to burp. I turned it off to put that guitar back away. Oh. So no one would see me get up off my chair. And, uh, I didn't turn the sound off. That was weird. Um, so anyway, we think that maybe Eddie was playing the uh, the Ripley on that song. Um, maybe. And actually, Mr. Ripley himself says that he did. So that's cool. And also, um, Eddie's playing drums on that song as well. You hear two different drum beats, two different sets of drums, left and right. One of them is Alex. One of them is Eddie. So there you go. Yeah, it's a cool song. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like it. Um, when when that album came out, I remember. Did I come across that, or I ordered it? The Japanese pressing of it. No, I just happened to come across it. I just I was in a record store in Berkeley, and I just happened to see it sitting there. You know, I had the the, the Japanese uh, what do you call it on the side? Mm -hmm. What's it called? An OBI strip or something? I saw that, and I noticed the cover had one one kid on it. You know, yeah. the cover's different. And yeah. I turned it over. I turned it over, and I couldn't read it, but I noticed. But I counted the songs, and I could see there was one extra song on it. Like I couldn't read the song titles, I, I don't think. Um, but I noticed there was one extra tune than the regular. I think I was holding them both together, and, I'm like, and the Japanese one said, "You know, 
let's say if the regular one has like 12 songs, the Japanese one said 13 or something. So what is your opinion, both of you guys, what's your opinion on bands that do that type of thing? They'll come out with an album, but then they'll have like the European version or the Japanese version have an extra song on it or, you know, <clears throat> the iTunes version has an extra song. Like, what do you guys feel about that? Mm -hmm. Back back in the day, it was cool. I mean, it it was awesome. These days, you see it everywhere. It's not everybody does that now, you know. I mean, you, you, your favorite artist can put out an album, and the version available at Target will have like six extra songs on it. Mm -hmm. You know, the Target, you know, exclusive or whatever. Um, so you see it see it everywhere. Uh, but what? So what? What do you think about maybe uh, having to buy all those all those albums? You mean? Well, yeah, I mean, it, it kind of, um, I don't know. I just like everybody to be able to have access to the same thing. Like if you have one song that is on a certain release that's not on everything, every other release, it's kind of like you're, you could be cheating your fans that don't know either. Maybe they don't know about that or if that version is more expensive or it's, or if it's an import, you know what I mean? It's, mm -hmm. it's kind of, uh, I don't like it. Dave, you want to chime in or no? Um, I agree. I think I think it it should all be the same. Mm -hmm. Everyone should be able to buy the same thing. Mm -hmm. um, I remember when uh, Duran. Dur Go ahead. What? Go ahead. Duran Duran put out an album several years back, and the vinyl release had an extra song on it. <laughs> yeah and so i don't have a record player you know so i i couldn't hear it but of course you know most of that stuff it, get, it gets out there anyway so either somebody sent, i think somebody sent it to me you know somebody sent me uh an mp3 of it or whatever see with me with me it's not just it's not just uh, songs on records it, I, I get pissed off globally like guitars even or cars you know it depends on on uh um uh, you know like um england gets a certain not necessarily england but the uk gets a certain uh um what's the word i'm looking for car guitars guitars only for them like guitars only for you know export mm -hmm. you know that I mean, that you can't get here, you know, and, and it's vice versa. Like guitars that are here, people, you know, on the other side of the world can't get them. It's like import, export. It's, it's really, it's really weird. I think everyone should be able to get what they want when they want it. I think everyone should be able to get the same stuff if they want it. You know, there shouldn't be, well, they cannot, you can only get this over there. It's not available to, to United States. It's not available to the blah, blah, blah. You know, just put it out. Oh my goodness! Well, I feel the same way. Now, anybody in the chat who's a who's a gamer, um, you know, the whole Xbox PlayStation thing, right? It's the same thing with that. Like a game will come out on both consoles, and like the PlayStation version, for instance, will have exclusive downloadable content that you can only get if you have it on PlayStation or Xbox or vice versa. Like Destiny, for instance. Anybody play Destiny in here? Um, mm -mm. PlayStation, they have exclusive content mm -hmm. that only you can get on a PlayStation. I think it hurts the people. I mean, it's it's if you have an Xbox and play it, it's not your fault. Like, why should you be penalized? You know, uh -huh. you can't cross uh, platforms with those, can you? No. They don't share servers, nope. right? Mm -hmm. So it's not like you know you're running around in, in a game and some guy you know whips out a flamethrower, you know, that he gets on his. That you have no access to. <laughs> yeah. You're like, wait a minute. That's not fair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, you're hurting the fans. And I mean, it's not like, you know, the Xbox fans are still buying your game. But they don't have access to that certain content. I just think it's it's not, it's not cool. Mm -hmm. And you notice with those games, even though it's the same game, they look a little different. Mm -hmm. On each each platform, the game is just a little, 
One of them, the, the one that you don't have always looks a little better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a little more fun. The maps are, are bigger. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. Um, but as far as the music thing, um, these days, everybody does that. I, I can see... I mean, I, I I can see getting getting frustrated with it because uh, you know you buy the album one place and next thing you know, you know there's a you walk into another store and there's the same album with five more songs. Yeah, you're like, oh, I have to buy this one too, you know. And then there's the record that has another song on it, you know. But if if well, if you're if you're if you're a, a diehard collector, you'll buy them all, you know. Well, I remember the uh, <clears throat> the Japanese. I believe it was the Japanese version of uh, Metallica's "And Justice for All" had "Bread Fan" and "The Prince" on it. Two extra songs, <clears throat> and um, I believe it was uh, it was like on a Rockabilia ad or something like that. Maybe it wasn't Rockabilia. It couldn't have been. But you know, like at the end of um, like music magazines back in like the late eighties, early nineties, it had like all those like bootleg things and, and import albums mm -hmm. you know that you could like order and yeah, stuff sure so my buddy jimmy he a hundred bucks he paid for the import of injustice for all with the two extra songs on it but that that's that's what i'm saying back then you couldn't go on youtube and listen to these songs you know what i mean i think like one of those like bread fan might have been or the prince might have been like the b-side to eye the beholder or something like that the single but that's the thing. You had to go out and buy the single version of that song, and just to just to get access. I don't know. I don't. I don't like that stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, these days, even iTunes has exclusive uh, tunes, downloads. iTunes, iTunes exclusives. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of that stuff you you can listen to on Spotify, but a lot of it you can't. There's a yeah. lot of songs like the extra versions. Um, speaking of Winger Tuesday or Winger Wednesday, or whatever from before, Winger's first album, the CD version, has an extra song at the very after uh, "Headed yeah. for the Heart." Yeah, I remember that. Higher yeah. and higher was the name of this. It's a kick-ass tune, but it was only on the CD version, and mm -hmm. that song isn't available on Spotify if I'm unless they updated it. Same with OE812. The CD had yeah had an extra tune, whereas the 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 record and the tape. Did the tape? Tape didn't have it. You're right. Yep. But the CD had it. The CD had it. Mm -hmm. All right. Steve, yeah. how many eggs today? Um, I think five, and I think one of them was a little too dirty, so I gave it back to them. I said, here, this one you got to redo. <laughs> <laughs> Right back in there. <laughs> Went right back in. Mm -hmm. Speaking of all you at one too, I remember I had the cassette, and then when I uh, joined, I think it was BMG or I, I don't, I don't think it was Columbia House. I think it was BMG. Remember that? Mm, yeah. Buy one CD, you get what nine or nine more for a penny or something, something crazy. Uh huh. Is that really how it worked? <clears throat> yeah. I mean, you had to pay for shipping. But, mm -hmm. but what was the deal? So you had to buy like so many per month, like you had to, right? You, yeah. Or you had you had to buy like at regular price, mm -hmm. so many. Whatever. Yeah, so it'd be like you know fifteen bucks or something plus shipping and handling for yeah twelve for a penny. That was the first thing. But yeah, you're right. You had to keep buying at a normal pace. But I remember when I ordered OU812, the CD version, and it had the extra song on. It. I was pumped. I don't know if I've if I'd heard it before I got that the CD. <clears throat> that that song I think was the B side to Black and Blue, mm -hmm. I think, which was the the first single that was actually Black Black and Blue was the first song to actually be put out. Uh, Steve Anderson, is is that right? Yes. Steve knows. Black and Blue is the first so song from that record. To be put out for a mm -hmm. single. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. I think it came out before the record. It did. It was a single. Yeah. Before the album came out? Mm -hmm. Steve says, yes, Johnny. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Anything happened in the chat here? Oh, it's yeah. There's cruising. Tons of stuff going on. Don Landy recorded the original A political. Is it A A uh, or is it uh, A A? The actual title to that. A A, uh, I think, right? That's what, that's how I. A A. Uh. <laughs> I thought it was A political blues. No, there's an A before the A political, <clears throat> right? I think what's, so. What's font out? Maybe. Um, and you guys know that was a cover tune, right? Mm -hmm. In the chat, in the chat box, tell us what. Uh, who's the original artist of that song? Yeah, it's it's double A. <laughs> MCO. No, I knew somebody was going <laughs> to say that. Dude. I knew it. <laughs> Hong Kong. <laughs> It always drives me nuts in that song. Now, I've never heard the original, so I don't know it's the same way. But the first beat of that song and the guitar, the kick drum and, and the uh, and the guitar are off. And it, ever since I was young, it's always driven me nuts. Well, da, 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 it's, you know? it's supposed to sound like that. It's it kind of like uh, like an old Robert Johnson type thing. It's supposed to be that that old time, you know. Uh, blue you know blues thing you know you know backwards blues mm -hmm. it was very you know, everything was was uh uh very primitive sounding that's 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 why I, you know that's that's the way things were recorded back in the 20s and 30s so mm -hmm. they that's kind of the way they made that mm -hmm. yeah when they recorded that song um they use like like one microphone or something in the whole room, yeah. Like up above, like maybe one or, um, and then the the, the song was live, but there there was some some uh, overdubs or would you call them under underdubs? <laughs> you know, if you do something live and then you put other things onto it, is that an is that? Are you not? You know what I mean? Yes. Because there's piano too, which I always assumed was Edward. So there's the slide guitar, there's the piano. He's doing the piano with his feet, and then and then you actually hear another Sammy vocal, like at the very end you hear it. You hear a slight, you hear Sammy, and then you hear like a slight other Sammy, like way in the background, singing the same the same part. That could be the scratch vocal coming through. From another from another uh, channel. Mm -hmm. Well, speaking of Sammy, uh, who was it? Who just mentioned that? Bozik. Oh yeah, mentioned Sammy Hagar's uh, April Fool's joke. <laughs> everybody, I'm sure everybody saw that picture. I can't believe uh, we haven't mentioned it yet. The reunion picture that was great. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know, I know. Um Alex, you know, Zipkin, he saw that picture. And he's right. like, he's like, that's totally photoshopped. He's like, look at out look at Alex Van Halen's uh stomach. His stomach goes right through to the back wall. <laughs> if you look at his shirt, look at Alex, look at his shirt, and it's it's there's nothing there. Well, if you needed to real to notice that to realize that it was photoshopped, you gotta have your eyes checked. Because I mean, come on! The second I saw it, you, I, I mean, yeah. First of all, it was April first, mm -hmm. and people ain't. Not, the, what really got me going was that wherever it was posted, people were like leaving comments, like like it was for real. I'm, I'm like, you know, you you're all idiots. Oh. <laughs> and so you got worked up about that. I work because people are like you know oh it's it's real but I'm who like, cares you know who cares just turn it off you don't have to get <laughs> uh, 
fuck? No, Desiree, sorry. Was, was Dave like screaming when he read that? I wasn't here. I don't know. That's why there's five holes in the wall. <laughs> this idiot thinks it's real. He tore all that tape off that guitar. He was so mad. Yeah, he, he had just put his guitars back up on the wall before the show started tonight. Um, <laughs> no, that just goes to show you that the sense of humor that Sammy has, man, that's that's super funny. And well, you know, if you're worth a hundred million dollars too, you'd have a sense of humor like that. Nothing's gonna bother you. Nothing in the world is gonna bother you. <laughs> but wouldn't it have been awesome if uh it turns out to be true and it's from an April Fool's joke? That would be the best thing. But I know it's not. I know, I know it's not. Well, I'm sure a lot, a lot of companies or bands or whatever, they actually, they use that, you know, it's like, Hey, you know, this product, we could never put this up for real. Let's just act like it's fake. And then it's real, you know, mm -hmm. like, what was that pedal? Did you guys see the, the, the pedal? Was it electro harmonics put out a bagpipe, uh, stomp pedal for guitar? Did you see that? No. <laughs> That'd be cool. That would be awesome. Steve Anderson, Johnny Bean mailed you an envelope today. I hope something's in it. <laughs> an envelope of an envelope? It's probably a, uh, a self-addressed envelope so that you can send some guitar picks his way. Mm. Well, then it would be an envelope of an envelope. Mm. envelope of huh? What was the unboxing? Oh, we have another one. We Steve, another the one. first unboxing was some uh, preamp tubes for my Sama Class 290 power amp and the caster wheels for my 4x12. But the other unboxing is from our friend, friends at EVH. Let's see what we have here. Should I open it now? Real small guitar. Really real small guitar. Nice. Let's see what we got here. Very cool. Um, hey, David Ennis. Yes, David. David oh, Ennis. Snap. Here uh, he is. Oh, say that again. Oh, snap. Oh, look, look at that, that, man. Oh, snap hook. Oh, present. I got to present you, man. Wow, look at that. Look at those, man. Eddie, you did right with the packaging. I'll tell you that. He didn't change the name on the actual uh, packaging, though. Come on, focus. Get off the alien. There you go. <laughs> Get off the alien. You need a cool name for him. <laughs> He writes 5150 on it, but it's the Frankenstein. <laughs> oh, man. That's cool. Yep. Yeah, A plus on packaging. And that's why it's 40 bucks. Wow. Yep. But hey, made in the, <laughs> in the USA. Awesome. Nice. Snap, you... hook, guitar, strap clasp set there you go <laughs> cool are you, are you gonna do a uh an unboxing of those of those do you want me to take them out uh if you want <laughs> you want me to take it out it's up to you guys i can i can do you guys want to see them or no. Yeah. yeah, I'm just wondering if, if that should be a, a different video. Really? Why? Do you like like an like an opening of like unboxing and then an un unpackaging? Yeah. Oh my god, you guys! <laughs> what are they going? Absolutely, Mayhem wants to know what they're going on. Actually, go ahead and do it here. Do it now. What? I'll... Whoa! I think Johnny <laughs> has what I have. Patch and and Oh, it did, it slowed down? Yeah. 
That's exactly what you said. <sighs> Man, <he's hanging laughs> I don't. Oh, I don't have anything for this. To, the reason I bought this was number one because it looks awesome, and number two because uh, I needed an extra strap with the clasp with the uh, dog clasps. So that's why. No, that's not the new Wolfgang back there. I'm still waiting. End of April, they're saying now. I would just play that guitar, dude. I can't. Why? I can't. I can't play it. Just play it. Play it, bro. What? Because it's got a shim. No, I... What the? What? Where'd Johnny... Oh, there he is. Whoa! What happened? What's that? Joe. Is that did Joe. Joe do that? This episode of Joining TV is sponsored by Joe Wentz Project TV. <laughs> That's funny. For more guitar related videos, subscribe to the Joe Wentz Project TV today. Wait, what's but what's the ten dollar thing on top of that? There you go. He he just gave me ten bucks. He did? Mm-hmm. My God, <laughs> Joe! I owe you ten dollars. <laughs> hey, paid advertising, paid advertising. You should be thanking you. <laughs> I'm joking, Joe. But yeah, joking, Joe. Joking, Joe to Mazzy Joe. Uh oh, that's gonna be Joe right there. Yep. Huh? Well, I, I don't know this number. Joe Wentz. Oh, you did? Okay, so Johnny put in the super chat feature. We have $10. <laughs> we have $3.33 a piece. Sorry, I don't know who just called. Um, send me, a, if you're calling for this, send me a text uh, to that number, please. Mm. Well, you know, YouTube actually gets like, Eight dollars of that. Really? <laughs> Why? Yeah. Because it's it's them. Oh, James Orcutt just gave us ten dollars. What's this we stuff? Thank you, James. Johnny's rethinking this. He, he was like, I, I should have had those guys sign contracts. I don't know. I don't understand. Uh huh. That's a that's the super chat. Sending you guys a. Uh... It's basically, it, it's a feature. It's it's a feature to where um. Where if if you want to get your comment seen. Well, oh really? really? Yeah, oh like yeah, so? totally, totally. Uh -huh. Huh? Totally, bro. To, to type that again. You can't see what I wrote. No. I saw it on the left hand I, side. Hit the. It's. Button. I've got nothing on the left hand side. I have Just to type it again. Thing. For cripe's sake. Hang on. Okay. Okay, somebody. Oh, okay. Here we are again. I don't know if this is let me oh my god, there's two people calling. Let me let me calling? let me answer this. I don't know if it's for this. Hello. <laughs> Hi, this is Johnny Bean. Hello. You're calling live on the show right now. I don't know who it is. <laughs> it's wait a minute. I, I had a message though. Hello. <laughs> wait. I don't know if it's for this because I that phone number isn't just for this. That phone number is for a bunch of different things. How can I call in? Okay, this is for this. Well, who is it? Who is it? Wait. You're doing the right thing. It's just Johnny being too nervous to answer a phone. Huh? No, no, that number isn't just that's that's my public number. Okay. Wow. Public. It's Jim it's Jim Nicholas, I think. He said long time listener, first time caller. Yeah. Oh wait, but no, we got several. We got several uh calls. Uh <laughs> whatever happened to them? 
You're on the Johnny B show. Who's it? <laughs> Who are we speaking to now? Oh, that's too funny. Whatever happened to them? They fell asleep. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey, Johnny. It's David. Ennis? Wait a minute. If, if, whoever, if you keep calling, it keeps, it keeps going to voicemail. I, I can't control it. So send, me, it. send me a text message, please. Dude, mute us. Answer it. Mute us. Me and Dave will handle the show for 30 seconds. Christ. Find out who it is. For cripe's sake. It's garbage night tonight, by the way. For me. <laughs> See that? Okay. No, it's just cranks. I hope that didn't show up on the uh, video right now. Oh, well, somebody took lost the $10. $10. Ha! We just lost it. He took it back. Real yeah, nice, Joe. Back. Yeah, Joe no, took no, it no. back. What, hap what happens is took it back. certain, certain uh, is it denominations? Is that the right word? It, it shows it for a certain amount of, of minutes and then disappears. Oh, so, so bucks, you get like five minutes or something? Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Oh, and so I'm, what do you have to do? You have to click on it for it to last? No, you got to pay more if you want it to get up there longer. Oh. So, Joe, in other words, if you put a hundred bucks, you'll be on there for the whole show. But then I'll have to give, I'll have to give him back the hundred bucks. Actually, you can go up to five hundred dollars if you look at the F FAQ of, the, of those, and it stays up for like five hours, like even during the the replays. That's cool. Hey, John, and yeah, that was a crank call, by the way. Oh, so. oh, those are well, cool. You should have had it on. I oh, I answered it, and it was just a bunch of noise. Hey, Johnny, it's David. How do you say, what's your name? S C H A R E. Share, share, share. Yeah. Here's my setup. I've got a PV sixty-five five plus, a Vox, multi effects processor, Tone Lab LE, an eighty. U one one zero zero GT wireless. He's a crybaby. Just thought I would share this with you guys. Love the show. Oh, there we go. He called you a crybaby, huh? <laughs> 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 Not that you said it is funny. The way it came out I called you a cry. <laughs> there you go. That's his setup. Oh, look at that. Very cool. Very nice. <laughs> and then I think I showed the, the picture from yeah, yeah. He sent he sent this in last uh, last time. I'll show it again. Right there. He's got some stuff. Yeah. The LED lights, right? <clears throat> Beginning, beginning. Stop oh. that. What? Albert? What happened, Albert? Stop that. Hey, what Albert. neck is behind you on the table, Johnny? Well, two necks. Hmm? Oh, my um, my Johnson. That's your Johnson? Yeah. It's, it's pretty big. It's one of them. I have two Johnsons. <laughs> There's the one. <laughs> If you guys follow me on uh, on Twitter, you'll realize that Johnny does have two Johnsons. Yo, <laughs> well, not just that. What? You'll you'll have you'll have read that this neck actually fell on my foot this morning. Oh. When I when I got up, I knocked it off the chair, and this part with the tuners went bang right. So my my left foot has a huge bruise on the top. Thanks to my Johnson fell on my foot. <laughs> I, I wish I wish I could say the same. <laughs> uh, did you hear Desiree the snickering over here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, she's all, now she wants to meet Johnny. What? <laughs> uh -huh. Showman says, get your Johnson away from the camera. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, oh, Jared. Actually, I was going to tell Desiree. I'll tell you, too. I'll be in Texas uh, this summer. Aw, when? Maybe I need to go to Texas. <laughs> what? I'll be in Austin. Oh, I love Austin. I think 
Who's Austin? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and Johnny, why do you want to be in Austin? That's disgusting. Oh. I forget. I forget the actual date, but I'll, I'll let you guys know when. Uh, when that is. And it's going to be the same kind of thing with last with last summer. I'll be traveling through different states, and if anybody wants to meet meet up, uh, I'll let you know. It'll be like where in the world is is uh, Johnny Bean? Kind of thing. I actually met up with some people the last uh, last summer. Remember, I met up with um, oh, what's his name? The guy that gave me the, the little uh, Dalmatian beanie baby. Kevin. Yes. Kevin. Isn't that amazing? Girls remember names. Dudes are like, uh, so and so. What's his name again? You know that guy. Yeah. <laughs> you know that dude. You know the soldier dude. <laughs> Jared says, screw Austin, just come through Dallas. It's more fun. <laughs> I've been to Dallas. Uh, the Mayfire, we did a tour. We played a show. Actually, we'll, we played in Austin. We, what's the famous what's, what's the famous place in, uh, in Austin? We played there. Uh, what is it? The famous blues uh, place. <laughs> Lollapalooza? Uh, no, um, Antones. Yeah, Antones. Yeah, yeah. We we played there. Um, played there before, and then in um, in Dallas, we played at a uh, some uh, some sports bar. Was that Dallas or Tucson? I don't know. You, you it becomes kind of a blur. You know, you, you forget which <sighs> which. Mm -hmm. Rant Jams says hi, y'all. Hey, Rant. Huh? So what? Cricket. Oh wait. So okay. So he. That was the second unboxing. That was it. You good? I think. Uh, I think Ben. I think Ben has an unboxing as well. Way, I think he. Ben, do you want to jump in? Times it six eighteen. Hey, the American. Jared. Yeah, yeah. I'll let you know. Well, I actually, I it's a, it's on my calendar already. Let me see. Oh, G asked me to show you guys photos of his new uh, uh, Wolfgang. He sent them to me. <clears throat> oh, pretty badass, actually. It's a uh, standard body with a... Uh, uh, it's got a special neck on it, like a, a um, stealth special neck, and it's got a Goto Floyd Rose, like a like a music man. Nice man. No music man. Nice man. No, music man. <laughs> Is it gold? <laughs> it's not gold. Looks gold from the uh, from here. All the way from South Carolina to Long Island, it looks gold. <clears throat> that looks gold. No, no, the the the, the trim. Yeah, don't look gold, man. That's not Goldman. From the outs, from it did when you held it back there. All right. Original shot. Jared, I'll be in in Austin the second. Um, second and third week, I would say mainly the third week of uh, August. It looks like I'll be in Los Angeles the first week, 
or maybe for like a, a day or something. And I'll, I'll, I'm driving, so. Um, Oof, you're driving? Yeah. How long of a trip is that? Uh, two weeks. <laughs> no, it takes you two weeks to drive from Cali to. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, no, no, no. I mean, it'll be two weeks round trip. Oh, okay, I got you. Oh, you're doing the same thing you did last year? Yeah. Well, ro okay, I got you. Yeah, not going as far this time, though. <laughs> this time went all the way to uh, Minnesota. Bozik, um, sort of, yeah. I mean, it's not a musical tour. It's just a, a road trip, road trip tour. But of course, I'll, uh, I'll, t I'll take everybody with me. You know, thanks to, thanks to the internet. And yeah, if anybody wants to wants to meet up, say hey. You know, it's all good. I remember Ooh. there was a, I remember there was a guy that wanted to buy me a hot dog. <laughs> is that what they're calling it these days? <laughs> but you had to eat it in his car, right? Is that is that what the deal? <laughs> who, who was that? He, he kept saying, "Johnny, come to Chicago on a bike." Well, because Chicago is known for their hot dogs. Uh huh. You know. Yeah. They're called but, Conies. They're called Conies. I, what? They're called Conies in Chicago. I, they're called Carnies. Conies. It's more like for their bratwurst. Pull with sausage, you know? <laughs> but yeah, didn't go through through uh, Chicago that time. Send a link to Brent to Ben. To Bren. Brent. Brent? Ben? Mm-hmm. Oh man. I heard Johnny's getting Johnny's getting back together again. The Johnny's? Oh. Blues Brothers. Chicago. <laughs> Where the heck did I go? Copy. It's not it. All right, gotta open up Facebook. Yeah, it is. Beckett Kerner says, hey. Oh, Larry's live right now. Uh, Fender Guru, what guitar am I going to install the strap? Um, I'm probably not. I, I, right now, I only have two EVH guitars, and they both have the eye hooks because Dave installed the eye hooks on the striped wolf gang. So basically I would only be using the, uh, the dog clasps for the strap. So there. Mm -hmm. well, that's cool. Yeah, that, that package is awesome, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is. The eye hooks aren't bad either. <laughs> Dude, the second when you were at Nam, the second you posted a picture of this, I mean, I, I know I said it twice already. I mean, it just looks cool. hey, what's up, Ben? What's up? I got a package <laughs> bigger than mine. <laughs> there, hold it right side up. Yes, Mr. John BL5150 sent me this. Oh man! Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, already. And I covered up the addresses. Yeah, like I've just wanted to get right. I've been looking at this thing since uh, I don't know, about five six hours. <laughs> you waited that long? Trying trying to look right through it. You stare at hard. Just staring at it. Oh, wow! They they really glue this up good. U.S. Postal Service. <laughs> there we go. Oh. What do we got here? <laughs> it was funny uh -oh. how Jay was talking, and then all of a sudden, hey, guys, breath. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait any longer. I can't. <laughs> Actually, just open it and show us what's in it. <laughs> oh, wait Ooh. a minute. Oh, y y y yeah. <laughs> Vintage Guitar Magazine. Nice. 
Look at yeah. that. Man, this is deja vu. Man. Ironically, with nice. Telly's on the cover. That's awesome. And Stompbox Soiree. Woo. Nice. Nice. I think that's the bag we're not supposed to necessarily show on here. Yeah. Oh, the, the left side. Yeah. We got a game here. Card game of bad advice. Well, that's just meant for me. <laughs> that's a bad advice. That's, that's... Wait, is that like like cards in there and stuff? Fun. Like, yeah. like cards against humanity type game? I'm just I don't I have like no it. idea. And yes, yeah. they are, Jay. And so there's pretty much a comedians on there. Okay. Yeah, because uh mixed up a voice from messed up people. <laughs> All right. Oh, ho, 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 ho. yeah. Yeah, guys. Nice. I am so stoked about this. Thank you so much, John. Uh, I will say uh, if I'm on the late show this Friday, I will be wearing it, and I will also be wearing this shirt on stage at my next gig. Poof. Poof. <laughs> He's up. And a bunch of stickers. Hey, we got Snowball. Uh, this is so weird. This is like the fourth one of these I've watched. <laughs> <laughs> we got a cool panda. Oh, whoa. What is this? A backstage yeah. pass from Van Halen. Balance. What? What? That's cool. That is oh. so cool. Is is there a flex capacitor in there too, man? I haven't found one yet. <laughs> haven't Ooh. found one yet. <laughs> and a working personnel fabric sticker that you put your name on for the for an off. Well, you know the what album. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm trying to read it backwards. That's very cool. Yeah, that's a VIP. That, that's a VIP. Uh, that the game been. Very that immense. Uh, no, but that it, one is it, working it, personnel. Working. So I guess wrote through. It's a working uh -huh. one. Homer rocking out. Love that. I oh. thought Homer was a bass player, though. Look at that. You Everybody can, plays bass. You remember that episode of Homer playing bass? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> Elvis Costello. Come on, Homer, play bass. Uh, I, 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 cool I, people play bass. I think this one's going on my Mexican telly. Oh, that's my favorite picture or you, favorite sticker. You it's, have the same one, huh? Yep. What is it? What What's that from? I don't know. I have no idea. I but no. Gee, what else? Wow. <laughs> A zombie the secret, Bart. The secrets out, boys. Oh, guitar pick. Paul. Does that say Paul Revere? No, can't be. You guys can make that out. Oh, Paul. Sure won't focus. Yeah, it's. Who said Paul through. Revere? Paul Revere? I said Paul Revere, but I know I'm wrong. What's the What's back? it say on the other side? The British are coming. <laughs> yeah. I, it's not. Uh... Yeah. It's Let's see, try a little closer here. I don't know. There we go. Oh, had it. Had it. All right. Well, we have a. Oh, I got a sticks pick from the Brave New World Tour. That's very cool. Mm -hmm. Yes. Is that a is that a Tommy Shaw pick or is that a, a JY? Uh, just uh, wait. Tommy Shaw. Very cool. A Steve, Steve Anderson, thank you for these pictures, man. Ted Nugent pick. Oh, very cool. Yes. Oh, yeah. And a Wobble Rita's Rule Sammy pick. Oh, man, you got a lot of cool stuff in yours, man. Yeah, oh, we did. didn't get those. We didn't get those cooler picks. <sighs> I got Daddy's pick. <laughs> yeah. We got Daddy's Damn. pick, too. We want God, you. God. Love it. That's and cool. another one of uh maybe I can put this one under the other one. <laughs> There's some really cool thanks, John. So John, much. Way to go, John. Great yeah, job. that's very nice. All from working with the crews. Very wow. Nice. That is beyond cool, man. Thank you so much. Yep. 
now I'm just, yeah, <laughs> losing everything everywhere. And awesome. That is so cool. And wow, like in only a week it got here. Because I think, Johnny, you only asked me for my address sometime last week. Less than a week it got here. Yeah, you don't screw around. Yeah, we laid the foundation, man. <laughs> Who did you lay? <laughs> Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, Connor Johnson says, Ben Coombs, hold the darn phone. You a NASCAR fan, too. I've been a diehard fan since 08. Yeah. Flint Boyer won the last race after 198 or 190 races. Thanks. That's all I'm going to say. Just for Michael Smith when he watches the replay. <laughs> Johnny, we got to instill the no NASCAR chat. <laughs> right next to the right next to the dollar, the super chat sign. <laughs> Well, just for that, I just found on the floor here a Twisted Sister pick as well. Yes. Holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> is that an Eddie Ojeda pick or is that a uh, JJ French pick? I'm going to say it's a JJ French pick only because it has just the logo on it. And I like JJ. You grew up around your area, did you not, Dave? Yeah, Say Long Island. Still growing up around that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Very cool. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Man, an absolute John. mayhem brought a used iPad into the shop for me today too to try out for when I go live. He says if it works for me, I'll trade him some music gear for it. I said, done, dude. Nice. Speaking of twisted yeah. sister, um. Yes. When I lived in Illinois, <laughs> I had a poster of D. Snyder on my door. All right. This well, is like when this? I, I think it was just him on like I don't think it was that. I think it was just him on stage like singing, you know, but he had the full garb on, obviously. And this was the time of like uh, you know, Stay Hungry was out with with uh, we're not gonna take it and uh, I wanna rock, right? And my grandfather, my grandparents from New Jersey came to visit. And my grandfather saw that picture on my door. <laughs> you remember him telling my dad, like, what is that on his on Jason's door? <laughs> was it, it out? You know? And you turned into the kid from the video? <laughs> that was exactly. th those videos were so cool, man. Then it had what's his name from Porky's in it. Uh I never saw Porky's. Niedermeyer, right? Oh, you're right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mark Norris says, so what's the story with these care packages? Sorry, I'm a newcomer. Uh, people enjoy giving us stuff. Mm -hmm. Basically. You know, we have, we have great friends that, uh, that love to watch the show and hang out with us, and, and they, their appreciation, they, they give us stuff. Sometimes they give us guitars. Sometimes they give us stickers. And we appreciate mm -hmm. it. Well, the exactly. Two, the two packages I opened tonight, they I I placed the orders for. I, I ordered that stuff, but I figure it's music related. Why not open them on the show just to you know? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, sure. and the unboxings. Yeah, yeah, we have unboxings to show people what we get. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we usually try to wait for whoever sent it to get into the chat, of course, and. <laughs> you were Ben was burning a hole in that box with his eyes the whole time. <laughs> as soon as I saw John pop into the chat right at the start of the show, I'm like, "Hey, he's here!" And then Johnny's like, "I'm going to send you a link for the second hour." I'm like, "Fine." I've been tapping my foot like Sonic the Hedgehog for the last hour, <laughs> tapping the box the whole time, shaking it nonstop. <laughs> <laughs> I got nothing on that. <laughs> oh, I think I'm out. Uh, Mozik says the greatest thing D. Snyder ever did was testify in front of Congress in full garb. Um, the video is on YouTube. I don't. He didn't have makeup on. Really? I was going to say the greatest thing he did was Widowmaker. Oh, that was awesome. He was what a, a great record. That was a couple record records. and yeah. movie. Oh, I'm talking about the the, the band. Mm. What was the movie he was in then? Where he was the bad guy? Oh, I don't know. Megadeth did a song on the on, for the soundtrack. Secret Place was the name of the Megadeth song. What was somebody's got to know the movie that he uh, he played the uh, bad guy in? Was was it um, 
Was it the guy in the, in the electric chair? Was that was that the Shocker. logo? Sh yeah. No, no, it, it was uh, after that. Yeah, that's right. Widowmaker was his uh, his band. What what was the movie he was in? Strangely, but, uh, Strangely. Yes, he was awesome. Who's the guitar player in Widowmaker? Anyone know? No. Al Petrelli. Oh snap! Because he, yeah, he he was in Megadeth too for a little while. Who wasn't in Megadeth? That's a good point. Al, <laughs> I, I think uh, I think I have him on Facebook. Yeah, me too. That guy was he was he the one he owns a bunch of of the uh, the the tour guitars, right? The the Stripe series ones, like the original oh, nice. series of those. I don't think so. I don't think so. Uh, Al Petrelli, he's the guitar player in uh, Trans Siberian Orchestra. Okay, I think this other guy's name is Al too. Then Al, B Al Bundy. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, it's, never mind, man. Yes, Rando, go get the Widowmaker record if you can find it. It's incredible. I'm not a big D. Snyder fan, but that record, his voice is great. The songs are great. It's 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 everything that Twisted Sister is not, and that's what makes it great. That documentary they did uh, was that a couple years ago now on Twisted Sister. This is a great documentary. I just, I just think that those, those, I mean, the songs are, they're fun. Twisted Sister thing is mm -hmm. fun, but I mean, the sound of the records, the sound of the songs, the guitar yeah. sounds, it sounds like a bunch of, you know, 12 years old, 12 year old kids playing, mm -hmm. you know? That's well, true. how about in Big Top Pee Wee when Twisted Sister's filming the music video? I don't think I've ever seen Big Top Pee Wee. Oh, oh man, it's sorry. It's the, the movie. Not gonna, really a Pee Wee Herman guy. They're singing. Uh, they're doing a video shoot for Burn in Hell, and they got a bunch of like they're on this. Uh, D. Snyder's on the hood of a car, and there's a bunch of I think there's a bunch of girls around and the bands in there and everything, and the cars creeping along. They got all the camera crew, and he's you know see no evil, won't you? And all of a sudden Pee Wee comes flying out. <laughs> and he's like, "What's going on?" You know, <laughs> oh, it's great. You just, even if you don't want to look at the movie or watch the movie, just look on YouTube for that scene, and it it's awesome. It's funny as hell. Yep. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Pee Wee Herman. Yep. Wow. And John Biel fifty one fifty says it was Pee Wee's Big Adventure, the original movie that was in. I don't know. I've, it's been about 20, 30 years since I've seen it. I don't either. know, man. Uh -oh. oh. Watch out now. I could be wrong. And it wouldn't surprise me if I was wrong. So. Excuse me. Is Mark Norris uh, in the chat here a new viewer? Yes. Looks like. Excellent. <laughs> awesome. Welcome, Mark. Yeah. I got to charge my phone. Don't charge it too much. All right. You guys good? Yeah. <laughs> Where the heck did Johnny go? I'm here. Uh, He's charging his phone. I'm, I, I got to plug this, plug this in. Are you, uh -oh. are you good? Steve Anderson says a Star Trek coaster just oh, broke. Dave. So I guess Steve's not good. What? You you just showed us. Well, I showed you nothing. Well, yeah, that's what I that's what I mean. <laughs> See, it works, Steve. It works. <laughs> what does that sound mean? Could have used that a couple seconds ago, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> I had to get the thing. <laughs> oh, it already keeps nice. hearing that thing go off in the bathroom. <laughs> oh well. Well, although it would be cool if you attach that sound effect to a bathroom scale. Staying on it, bing. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> Scott, and there, it's Scott, just I love your guitar room. Want to create a similar <laughs> vibe? I mean, this guitar rack right here is literally right in front of the staircase. I have it here, just so it's not big an empty room behind me. But thanks, man. I like Dave's guitar room better, but that's just me. Actually, it's not just me. I think that's everybody. Yeah. Here, have a look. Have a look. See. Oh, see, that's that's the angle. Yeah, I know. Dave. That's the angle, man. There. How about that? Is that all right? Are anybody else's pants getting tight? <laughs> sure. <laughs> I can't stand up right now. <laughs> Man. Hey, hang on. There's more. But wait, there's more. <laughs> Johnny, can you present Dave for a sec, please? Pretty please. There. How about that? How's that looking? You got to right? get some like, stage lights and stuff. Flashing some some strobes, some uh, you no, know, some fog rolling in. <laughs> I kind of like I kind of like that one the best. That that's that's the picture I like. Well, can the you just real off. quick? Well, you don't you don't have to go pick any of them up, but just go real quick down the line from le uh, left to right. What the guitar is? That one. Left to right. You mean this way to this way? <laughs> that looks like that purple Kramer. Yes. The, yes, this one here at the end is a pr is the purple Kramer. But yeah. it's really red. Yes. Then I have the polka dot. Right. Then I can't tell. Oh, I'm making a mess. Making a mess. Um. Then the 1982 uh, Imperial in white. Then the 82 Carrera in black. Uh, then the Ripley. Then the 84 Beretta. And then the 86 Pacer Imperial. Pacer, I'm sorry, Deluxe. And then all the Wolfgangs and such. There's eight of them there. And so far down the line. Wow. Killer, man. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. If my cool. mic cuts out, it's just because I'm drooling all over it. So <laughs> That's not drool. And then I... Uh... <laughs> yeah, there we go. Then I have those on the wall. <clears throat> Hello, wall. <laughs> and there's an amp back here behind behind the couch there's another amp sitting there uh but that's those three that's the uh that's the wet dry wet that head that evh head right there is uh is running the whole thing and then i have the effects coming out of the return of that head to make it wet, wet, dry, wet. Mm -hmm. And so, if 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 you don't understand what he just said, would you say <laughs> what duh what? <laughs> uh -huh. W D D. And then I have a, a 1965 original super uh, super reverb Fender super reverb. Oh, so nice. I think you know how when you when you go on to Netflix and you have no idea what to watch, you spend more time scrolling through than you actually do watching something. I think it would be the same issue with me if I was in your house. I would spend more time trying to figure out what guitar I was going to play than actually playing it, you know? To grab and, and uh, climb through the window? <laughs> to fond Show of Showman Blue says, Dave, where do you keep all your cases? I don't have cases for everything, but um, I have a lot of cases in storage. We have a storage space in a nearby town, and I have cases in, in a closet here in the, in the house. Actually, behind that wall, 
is a, is a closet. As long as that wall is, is how big the closet is. Hmm. Uh, because behind that wall is also the stairs that go up into the, the guy's apartment above us. The guys? There's a guy that lives above us. Mm -hmm. do you, do you, Desiree, have you met the neighbors? Yes. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know, Dave, well, that, uh, you, have you, know, you met the neighbors? <laughs> well, I mean, the last place I lived, I didn't know anybody. And they were walking everywhere, you know? Your VH1 guitar, I'll call it, is that a custom build or is that like a Stripe series? It's a custom build. It is a custom build. I figured, but I thought I'd. Ask. I don't think I'd seen that one. Yeah, it's it's. Uh, it used to be Rob Johnson's. Oh, okay. But, uh, he wanted an EVH brand, and I said, "I'll I'll buy you an EV EVH brand for that one." He said, "Okay, <laughs> sure, I'll, I'll I'll do it." Nice. And he builds some nice stuff. I've seen oh, enough ep back episodes he builds some yeah, new stuff i think actually scott smith made that guitar for him i think oh. I, I, I could be wrong but sorry no I'm... well hey i gotta leave you guys to finish i gotta split um time for daily to bed uh, yeah genie has to work tomorrow and uh yeah that type of stuff and yeah Cool, cool. So I got to finish up for the night. Always uh, a pleasure, Jay. It is. That was an awesome package by John PL15. Speaking of packages and wood. <laughs> yeah. Awesome job, man. But well, you guys have a great rest of your night, and uh, I'll talk to everybody later. Okay. Yeah. Good, Good night, everybody you, in the chat. Wait a minute. Dave's presented. Yeah. Cool. All right. See you, man. See you guys later. Bye. See ya. Bye. I'll leave you with one more look. <laughs> yeah. Ah. <laughs> oh. Mhm. Mm okay. Okay. Nice. All right. Good night, everybody. See you later. You hang up first. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Michael Smith made it. Michael. Right, M Michael. By the way, um, I don't. I don't know what train tracks those are. I did my Veda uh, already, and I showed some train tracks, and I was really showing you guys the Pacific Ocean, which was behind the train tracks. And I don't. But of know. course, old Michael Smith sees this, the train tracks. Yeah, yeah. He left a comment on the video asking uh, what they were, and I don't know what they are, and I don't think I don't think there's any any trains that I, have been on there for years. It's just the tracks, you know, people walk, walk on them, you know, all the time. Mm. Hippies, mostly hippies. You got to watch those hippies. Uh huh. Oh, they're everywhere, man. Santa Cruz. Everywhere. Mm hmm. Crazy. And a few famous musicians living in your neck of the woods other than you, Johnny, we know. Huh? Like me randomly texting you yesterday. Randomly messing. I'm like, you ever run into Izzy Stradlin? <laughs> like, no. Why? He lives right around you. I didn't know that. Yeah. I did not know that. <laughs> yes. Uh, <laughs> I I did not know that. Was he? He touches the nose, right? Carson. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. yeah. Remember what? What was the character? Scott Nixon has a question for Dave. What was, what was the? Wait, hang uh, on, wait, wait, what was the? What, what was the character where Carson? He, he, he the great where he holds the, the uh, letters up to his uh, his head. Oh, I don't. I know what you're talking about, but he, oh. he guesses. No. He, he, mm -hmm. Oh man, tonight's show Carson is the best thing ever, you guys. Yeah, best Jerry. <laughs> it's gold. <laughs> Uh, Scott Nickerson, the question is, what pedal connectors and cables do you recommend? Lava. I, I use the lava cables. And Very Steve good. answered it. Karnak. Yes. Karnak cables? No. Karnak the <laughs> Magnificent. That was him. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that stuff's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> Ha, <laughs> ha,
Brady oh. asked what your favorite Van Halen song is, and there's it depends on the mood I'm in, and there's Wait, so many. You like Van Halen? I listen to him once in a while. I uh, yeah, I, I didn't know you even you even listened to Van Halen. Yeah. Well, actually, I only listen to the Wildlife soundtrack, so really, I'm only listening to Eddie. So. That's just me. Mm. Uh -huh. I like that soundtrack. Yeah. Have you seen the movie? Years ago, I got to see it again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what was that? I still want to play Donut City and walk out on stage sometime. I thought that'd be great intro oh. music for a band to walk out to. Uh huh. Uh huh. Or what about covering the song? You guys should Ooh. cover. You guys should cover. We we've been although talking about some stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Although I don't I don't think he's playing guitar on that. I don't think that's a guitar. I think it I think it's like a, like a baritone or um or something. Yeah. And then he's using obviously a tunematic bridge to get all the high plinking behind the bridge stuff. He could actually he could be I suppose strumming behind the nut on a guitar, but it sounds more like behind a tunematic bridge. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, like like on Running with the Devil. That's what that yeah. is. Yeah. Yeah. That's what that is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Scott. Well, that's what it's called. I mean, that's... what's that? He, he said with the with the record his favorite record. Oh, that's the name of it. Mm -hmm. Eddie's yep. playing so liquid and smooth. Scott is saying, "Oh, on, on the carnal knowledge." <laughs> wow, nice. So, what's Ben? When did you get here? Yes. What, what's new with you, man? <laughs> Who's calling? Um. Just working away at the vape shop during the day, hanging out with you guys in the evening. Did you like my, um, my joke this morning? Your joke this morning. I, I said I said what happens, you know, when a vape vape shop gets robbed. Oh yeah. I it said, vaporizes. I said does the vape just vanish? You know. I mean it's kind, of, it's kind of funny, but you know what I'm trying to say. It dissipates. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. Do you have like yep. a smoking lounge in there too, where everybody you got a room, where everybody? Uh, uh, well, there's a testing area, and then I also have a couch and coffee table set up. So if people do want to just hang out and vape, like uh, Absolute Mayhem, he came over today and hung out for about 20 minutes or so, and dropped off an iPad for me, and we talked vaping, talked music. Mm -hmm. He asked who was going live next. I said you were going live this evening, so there he is, tuned in. Mm -hmm. In your shop, do you have all the win windows covered up? Uh, we do. Uh, we frost them over because what's, in the same plaza, there's a daycare center. Okay. I was, yeah. Well, yeah, because there, there's, a, a, there's a, a vape shop right next to Whole Foods out here in Capitola. Mm -hmm. And the, the went, it's all uh, fogged over, the windows. Yeah. And I was we, just wondering. We just did that. Because of the daycare center right nearby, we didn't want to give the people that ran that daycare even the slightest reason to think that we're, you know, selling to kids or something. The same as like we have a mascot. We didn't put it on any of the signage outside, but it's all over inside the store. Mm hmm. Okay, that's a good one, Bruce. <laughs> huh? When a vape shop gets robbed, Ben gets a new guitar because he is the one from. What? It was an inside job, I told you. Oh, gosh. <laughs> no. How old do you have to be to, to vape? 19 in our province. Same as alcohol, same as tobacco. 19. 19 to drink? Yeah. Oh. 18 in Quebec and 18 in Alberta, though. Oh, I'm moving to Canada, you guys. <laughs> when I turn 18... <laughs> Have a good night, John Beal5150. He's calling it a night. Thanks John, again for the John. wonderful items, buddy. Oh, dude. Congratulations. It was awesome. And what a wonderful package. 
I, I heard I heard that our friend Caleb got a package as well, and he wanted to do a live unboxing here last night, mm. but I had to be somewhere like in like right. 15 minutes, so I couldn't do it. And by the time I got back, I'm like, well, hey, we can go live at 10 o'clock, you know, p.m. And I get a message, you know, eight o'clock or something saying I already opened it. It's open. <laughs> <laughs> he couldn't wait. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, he was saying, nice. he was saying, thank you. Thank you as well, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm, yeah. I mean, I, I'm, above and beyond, John. I, I've got my, my stickers right here, you know, and I'm nice. Yeah. I love that Lionel Richie one. Oh, the hello. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. Mm hmm. And now Jay's in the chat. We're watching during yeah. gen dinner. And he still has an appetite. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Michael Smith is using his wrench. Yep. Or possibly Jay, I suppose. Nope. It's Michael. No? Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, you can tell. Mm -hmm. And apparently only 14 to drive in Alberta. Who knew? Really? I suppose if I asked some of my family there. Yep. <laughs> uh -huh. huh? Jay, what are you having for dinner? We've been waiting all night. That, that's, that's the real question here. Good, a good question. We've been, we've been, uh, great question. Uh, oh, all I had today was uh, was a, a ramen, you know, those ramens that I get. That's all I've had. Well, actually, no, I had I had cheese and crackers this morning. I had leftover pizza after I went live. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, the yep. Little Caesars. Yep. Pizza, pizza. Yep. Yeah, I explain my whole day and practice day routine. Yep. Buy a pizza for lunch, eat some for lunch, eat some on the way to practice, eat some more after practice. And I still had some leftover. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do, do you like sriracha? I think so. I don't know. <laughs> do you know what sriracha is? Maybe. Do you, do you know what sriracha is? As Bart would say, I know of it. <laughs> <laughs> L. Smith says, "Hey, can you can you explain artificial harmonics?" Yep, I can. <laughs> hmm? You can, but are Just, are you going to? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> artificial ugh, artificial harmonics as on the guitar, or just yes. in, in general. You know, there's in music there's harm there's harmonics and there's inharmonics. Are we going to get serious? Apparently he wants us to. He's, you know. Uh -huh. Yeah, I, I know. I know who it is, Bozy. Rooster sauce. Yep. Yep, that's what sriracha is. It's rooster sauce, but it's not actually rooster sauce. I mean, it's the, the logo is a rooster. No, it's it's uh it's like a, it's like a hot sauce. So explain artificial harmonics to him. Huh? I was explaining hot. I was explaining sriracha uh. <laughs> to Ben. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> sriracha is good stuff, you guys. If you guys don't. Uh... Yes, sriracha is good stuff, especially on sandwiches mm -hmm. and on harmonics. <laughs> Hi, Desiree. It's nice to see uh, Bruce was late joining us, but he was able to get in. He has no flooding at his house as of now, but it's crazy storms there. So, yeah, yeah, he had like a tor tornado uh, warning or watch, right? Mm -hmm. That's not good. Several tornadoes too. are horrible. Yeah, and a flood warning too. And he's got a creek right behind his house. A creek. Creek. Yeah, not good, but. So far, so good. So, yeah. Well, I think he was saying the warning was until ten, mm. his time, which I don't know what what that is. It's seven here. Yeah, yeah. He's the same time zone as I am. 
Mm-hmm. And what are you? You're Eastern. Eastern. Yep. Mm-hmm. Oh, so it, okay. So it, it's so the, the the warning should be over. Hopefully. Mm-hmm. Um. And as far as artificial harmonics, what on the guitar? I don't know, Ben. What do you think artificial harmonics are on the guitar? I'm what not sure. <laughs> I would think. Well, you can get your natural harmonics at, say, like the 12th, 7th, 5th frets. Mm -hmm. But then you can also do pinch harmonics on any note. So does that mean like a pinch harmonic? Uh, Mm -hmm. I, I I usually say that the artificial harmonics, as far as the guitar, are like the pinch harmonics. Mm-hmm. like what you're talking about not the ones that you get on the frets themselves but the right. ones that, the ones that you have to really dig in like let's say this is a well i know i've got a guitar right there but yeah. you know the ones you really when you dig in mm-hmm. side i would say those like your are second and third fret harmonics those ones are real fun to get out yeah mm-hmm. i don't use them that often anymore you don't no, no, I don't play any music that really I put a lot in. Um, just because mm-hmm. we're doing more traditional music and stuff. Although I still throw in some little Eddie bits here and there on songs, like you know, fret an A chord and still got to tap it out on the fourteenth fret, stuff like that. Those tap uh, harmonics. As much as I get dirty looks from my bandmates on occasion, I'm like, what? It fit. Leave mm-hmm. it alone. It's a nice actually ending. Mm-hmm. L. Smith, search on this channel here. Um, Eddie Van Halen horse sound. Yeah. Search that. And the, the guy in that video, you don't see his face, but his hands look a lot like mine. He shows you how to do the Eddie Van Halen uh, horse squeals. And those are done with, with the pinch harmonics, which we're calling the artificial harmonics. And thank you, Michael Smith. Go back just before you jumped in. I I subjected them to about a minute of NASCAR <laughs> talk. <laughs> Not no. horse. H o r s e, horse sound. Yes, the horse sound. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm going to show that because I'm, that's funny. Yeah, I'm sorry. Nobody's only Dave and I could see that. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Okay. <laughs> Uh, what are we? 7.03? 10.03 Eastern time? I'm good, actually, if you guys are. Oh, you got a split? I'll say, Michael Smith, we'll do a hangout sometime on my channel and we'll do all NASCAR talk and we'll see who actually tunes in for more than 30 seconds. Oh, he won't be tuning in. (laughs) (laughs) Man. All right. We're good? Yeah, I guess we can hang out for a little bit. Yeah. All right, yeah. everybody. We're going to split. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. If you're new to the channel, what do you call it? Subscribe. <laughs> Click that bell. And uh, we go live on here Tuesdays and Fridays, 8 o'clock Eastern. Although I'm, I'm doing this thing where I vlog every day this month. So I already did that video. It's called Veda vlog every day in April. If you missed it, go back one video. You can see it. And we'll be live on Friday. I think. Probably. Maybe. Uh, Yeah. And then Ben Coombs. He's got a a channel as well. What's your channel called? I don't even... Ben Coombs. Ben Coombs. Yeah, I know. It's real original. Mm-hmm. <laughs> actually, type. You can actually type your your, uh, yeah, your channel name say. into the chat. Or actually, if you just type anything, you, you guys can get to his channel just by clicking on his, uh, his comment. Mm-hmm. There you go. Cool. There you go. Bazik. Yeah. Thank you. Adios, I go live guys. at random times during the day, 
Thursday nights, 8 p.m. Eastern. It's the big show with a co-host and all that. It's like this, but less technical. Mm -hmm. Man, I'm getting so many messages all at once. That was... Uh, did you read what Jay wrote? Yeah. Well, that was one of them. And then somebody else was sending me a message, too, about something else. Everybody realizes that Andy Summers is going to be in town. No way! And they're all letting me know. Um, yeah, and I will be there. I will be there. So cool. look for look for selfies of me and Andy on my Instagram. All right, so cool. So Dave, are you going to split? Or are you going to stay for the app for the? No, dinner? I'm going to stay. If we're, if we're if we're saying good night, I'll stay for the after show. I just, you know, actually the reason why I had to leave is because we I had to find uh, um, Snickers' little raincoat, but Desiree found it. <laughs> what's what's Jeannie's... Uh... Jay, can you tell Jeannie to send me a message on Facebook real quick? Hey, G. I'll be right back. Tornadoes here in the east. Everybody stay safe. For you too, Mark Norris. You too. I don't know whereabouts you are, but I know we have wind warnings here tonight even. Supposed to get up to about 65 miles an hour. That should be fun. I, I was going to put out the recycling, and then there's just no point because we just all end up in the neighbor's yard. Oh, man. And I wasn't laughing at you. I was laughing at what, what they wrote to me. That's all right. You can <laughs> they laugh wrote at me. They wrote him. <laughs> Actually, it's, it's supposed to rain here this weekend. And that really sucks. Yeah. We we're going to do a band practice at our drummer's place, but they're calling for snow on Monday. So we're not loading gear in the snow when we don't have to. Mm -hmm. Just want this winter to end. <laughs> uh -huh. How long does it snow there? How long is winter? Uh, snow's gone here. It's just been only a couple of degrees above freezing every day, though. Or it'll snow, but it won't stay on the ground. You know, just a few flakes in the air. Actually, Dave's been getting it way worse than me the last couple of weeks. It's horrible. Yeah. Good night, Bruce. See you, Bruce. <laughs> That's a lot of Johnny Beans. <laughs> I see that. I think, yeah, I think he's trying to get your attention. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good night, man. And yeah, stay safe, man. Hopefully everything's everything's cool over there. Yeah, man. I'll message you in the morning, buddy. Okay. So it looks like we're going to do like a... Uh, well, it, it looks like Jay's coming back, is what it looks like. Coming back? Oh, okay. <laughs> Put Ellie to bed. I think. Fed Jay. Or not. Wait, Jay, are, do you mean that's for actually when we hang up? Yeah. Oh, oh, that's what he means. Oh, yeah, he wants to do an after show. Oh, yeah. I thought he was going to come back on here. No. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. All right. I guess. I guess we're out of here. Because he Thanks. wants. Good night, he all. Wants to, he's doing. He was. He's. Um, eating. Yeah, he's eating. He wants to show us what he's eating. Wait. They, they just said something. Yeah, he said no after. After. Okay. Okay. All right, everybody, we're out of here. What does that say? I can't read it. He said unless you want him on there while he's eating. No. I don't care. That's yeah. fine. <laughs> I mean, that, I, that's fine with me, but um, I do have to bounce in, in like... Uh, like 10 minutes. 
All right. All right. We're going to split. Everybody, uh, thanks for watching. Thank you for listening. Thank you for the thumbs ups. Really appreciate them. Uh, thank you to, uh, to Joe Wentz and uh, James Orcutt for the super chats. Yeah, that was awesome. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> thank you very much. That was, uh, that was a first on here. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll see you guys Friday. Eight o'clock Eastern time. Oh, and, and a vlog every day uh, until then. All right, you guys. James, thank you again, man. See you guys. Ben, good to see you. Great seeing you. Thanks for having me. Dave? Yep, see you later. All right, everybody. See you guys, and don't forget... Um, Johnny Bean TV on Facebook. You can like the page. And and next week I'll have t-shirts. Wow. So look for those. T-shirts. Yep. Finally. That's insane. The people have spoken. Yeah. All right. See you guys. Johnnybean.com. Good night. Somebody say bye. 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 <laughs>